Oh my god. <laughs> My name is Victoria and why did I say my last name? I was about to say my last name. My name is Victoria Rose. Still don't know how to do YouTube. Uh, I don't know why you're here. I'm not a real YouTuber. Welcome to my channel. Today, we're doing something extraordinary. We're getting my hand tattooed. I left this arm very clear for a very long time. And it, I, I decided it is time. I found the, the right tattoo artist name is Tash. Um, I'll put her link below. She's in London. If you ever want to get tat tattooed by her, links are below. Um, she does incredible line work. So we're gonna see how this tattoo turns out that she does. I have this hand done already. I had this done in Los Angeles. And it was painful. It was very painful. So were the fingers, very painful. This tattoo is gonna be a hand poke tattoo, which I am curious as to how that will go. And then I got on the Metro to come here. I got up really early, earlier than I ever get up. Good morning, it is very early for me and I was thinking about what my greatest fear was. It is getting up early. I'll feel the worst, scariest feeling when I have to get up early. I'm like, oh no, I did not receive adequate sleep. I need to die. That's how I feel, but I did it today because I have to, because I have a big day ahead of me. Today we are going to get a tattoo here in London, and I'm excited about it. Um, not, I'm never really truly excited to get tattooed because it's very painful, especially on the hand. It is now time to start on this arm. This is a big deal. I've gotten tattoos in Egypt, Germany, all over America. It is now time to get one in England. So I'm gonna go meet my friend Tash. We're gonna go get this started. I got myself this yesterday because I knew my greatest fear would be to wake up early. And I'm like, I need to reward myself for facing it. So I got this oat based. I love these, the, these types of coffee things, like they're cheap little coffees. You can't get them in America. Like they don't sell them as much. I know I seem all composed on the outside, but my insides are melting in terror and despair. The way of the inner world, isn't it? I'm gonna drink that, but I'm gonna go on the Metro, get my hand obliterated. I'm not ready for this. Let's go. here at FBC, which I will also link below, and they allowed us to use this room to get tattooed in. Lots of good natural light. Hopefully we have enough time to get it all done. We'll see. So we first, what we did is she did an outline. She drew it up. And then she put on paper and then she outlined it in her hand. It took a long time to get the sketch down right because you have to contour with the body when you do straight lines. I'm excited. Um, I had to mentally prepare myself to be in a lot of pain because one of the most painful places to get tattooed is the hand. But I think it'll be different with hand poke. I'm not sure. So let's find out. Let's get a hand poked hand tattoo in London. But we have the design now all done. All right, so I'm here with Tash, the best tattooist in London, and I'm just gonna ask her just a couple questions um, about hand poke because I don't really know much about it. The first one is, what is the difference between hand poke and a machine tattooing? And I would say the easiest way to put it is probably that with a machine, you have a motor attached to the needle, and with hand poke, you do not have a motor attached to the needle. Yeah, like put your hand like behind it. Yep, perfect. She's getting food. It's very hard to keep her still. She, I think she has ADHD, right? Yeah. I, I only befriend and associate with ADHD. Okay, bye. <laughs> As we were saying about tattooing, that we, we move location because this is much prettier. And you can see London. Ta-da! The sun is actually coming out. What? Just for us. It's like, oh, God's like, oh, you're filming here. Let me shed some light in the situation. 
God is with us today because her brain is not. <laughs> so you just like this, basically. Yeah. Does that ever hurt your wrist? I mean, you're you kind of making a flicking time. motion. Uh, yeah, I'm starting to use, like after, I think I've been doing this for about seven years, three years professionally, years training before that. Um, it's really tiring on the wrist, but mainly it's the shoulder. We covered. It. Sounds about good. We should probably get started now. It still hurts though. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> the worst part is always the track. Yeah. Alright, just a little pain. Oh god. Hold on, I'm just blowing it. Man. Just have blown it. Acting like a, <laughs> like a man. <laughs> my friends! Oh god. Uh, it's right on the bone. I think that's... The, the, worst, the, the worst part so far of this tattoo is the cleaning of it. I hate voice, but I'm not taking <laughs> No, I understand. I. My poor little hand. So we're nearing the end, I think. And I'm, this is the point in the tattoo where I don't want to talk. I don't want to talk to you guys right now. <laughs> Can you fuck off, go away. It really stings a lot. The worst part is just when she wipes it down. That's always the worst part. But we're in the home stretch. That's what it's looking like. It's looking really cool. I'm really happy with it. We'll definitely be adding a lot more onto it. This is just the base. The beginning. All right, so we're doing the master cleanse now. My hand is like numb at this point, but it always gets better because it's very numb from all the poking and rubbing and moving out of it. Pain. So that finger, that finger is really painful. Like, all right. I'll show you like tomorrow or something whenever I can talk more clearly, but I'm so happy with it. She did an amazing job. Her links are below. I'm gonna go home now. So this is the next day and it is looking good. Um, hand poke is the way to go. I mean, it's very painful because it's a bit slower, but I think the machine would be just as painful on the hand. It's gonna heal. I can already tell it's gonna heal, heal really nicely. So this took around like, I don't know, four or five hours, I think. And there's still a lot more to do on it. Like we wanted to do some of this and then some of that and a little bit. She's gonna do my whole arm. Like she did a fantastic, like her line work. I've had tattoos from tattoo artists. I've had tattoos from tattoo artists and they can't draw lines for, for like a lot of tattoo artists surprisingly cannot draw lines. So she can. I'm gonna go out and do a photo shoot. What's new? So it's been like three or four days since I've gotten my tattoo and I just wanted to show it to you. Um, I've never gotten such a, I've gotten one tiny stick and poke, but stick and poke, the healing on the hand anyways, is so much better. Um, it, there's no pain or anything. I know that it's not shading like this would be. Any type of shading is really hard to heal, but this is what it looks like while it's um, like three or four days. Uh, it, I've been putting that stuff on it, but it's raised a bit. It hasn't peeled yet. It is pretty itchy, but nothing I can't stand. Super, this tattoo's been a breeze. Like, I'm so excited to get more work done by Taj. And links below to follow her and to follow our tattoo journey together of doing all of this. I'm really excited about it. Maybe she'll fix some of my other bad tattoos that I've gotten. All right, thank you for joining me in this tattoo adventure. Stay to Terrestrial, and I'll see you in the next video.